Yat Ebene. Good morning in Navajo. Good morning, everybody. I wanted to share with you guys that God's been get, gifting me things. Things that I don't need, but it's just like my smallest desire. Um, and and he and just out of the blue he just gives me this gift and he's done that several times now within you know these couple of months and I'm just amazed by him and just he's just amazing that way you know I, I don't I don't say it what I want um, I don't ask for it but he knows your your desire in your heart, even the smallest little thing. And let me show you one of them. Um, while we were in Tennessee, I I saw this old Bible, and it was a huge Bible at this antique store, and I, there were actually a bunch of them, and I was just like, wow, that's beautiful. That'd be nice to have and I didn't need it I already have a Bible and it's just something it's just so beautiful and um, I said well I looked at the price it was pretty expensive I didn't, I didn't purchase it but I said okay and so one day we were out um, again just recently I think a couple weeks ago and guess what God gifted me that Bible and um, we went to a thrift store and I saw this Bible there and I asked the person how much was that and he handed it over to me and said it's free I mean who does that that's our Heavenly Father that does that and um, let me show you a bit you see this beautiful beautiful Bible it's just huge Oops. it's just I can't believe and um, and I just I didn't need this because I already have a Bible and um, it's just something you know, a little, something my, little tiny, I guess, this, something I wanted. Um, I didn't go seek for it. God's like here. And, and sometimes I think, you know, we, I'm not, I, I'm not sharing this message to go and whatever you desire, you know, God's going to give it to you. You know, we can't say, oh, I want a new car. I want that new purse, you know. Um, but but God does know what you want and what's in your heart, and and so you know, just continue seeking Him. So continue talking to Him. He's just right there, and He knows you more than anybody else knows you. I wanted to share this because you know sometimes. God showed me this, like, and he, not only with this Bible, he's been doing other things, um, you know, amazing things like that, just gifting me. And I'm just like, oh, wow, God, you know, how, how, did, I, how did you know that? But duh, he's God. Um, and, and that's what he's been showing me, that he is God. And he knows our, what's in our heart. And... And at this time, he's showing me, okay, you know, this little thing that you want. I know. And, but why don't you step it up a level and, and start asking even more boldly what you need. And I'm not saying, oh, now it's time to get a big house, you know, um, or time to get that big car. He's asking you know it's time to go further bigger with what your heart's desire and i can show you it's time to ask for those healing you know there's family members 
my, you know, even myself, friends who need healing. And, and so going into, you know, that presence of God and asking for those, asking, you know, for those who don't know God to come, have God, you know, know him. And, and so there's so much that God desires for us and God has a plan for us. In Psalms 24, it says, may he grant you according to your heart. And, and he, and he does. He listens to those prayers that you, that, you know, you pray out to him, that you cry out to him. And don't think he doesn't because he's right there. But you just need to trust him. Proverbs 3, 5, 8 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You know what that means? You need to trust him. And enough with the doubts. Enough saying he's not listening. If he can, if he can see my inner smallest little request that's not, you know, needed, but he has, he, he gifted me, he can do that same thing for you. Jeremiah seventeen seven. Blessed in the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. So we just need to trust in the Lord. We are blessed, everything. And if you feel like you're not blessed at this time, sit down with him. Talk to him. Ask him, Lord, show me what I don't see. You have to open your heart and ask him just to open your eyes. I just pray that everyone who receives this you know, continue seeking Him. And if He doesn't give you that little thing or that big thing, you know, maybe the, just ask Him what His plans, see what He desires first. But He knows our tiniest desires. So just trust in Him. Seek Him. And that's all. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. And you guys all have a blessed day. Bye.